there's an old school mentality that a lot of water pressure is a good thing. And I'm here to tell you that things have changed from that. Uh, most municipalities and, and even states want you to run lower water pressure, especially on your sprinkler system. Um, in our area, it's, it's mandatory to have lower water pressure. And I'm here to tell you too that a lot of the modern irrigation components are made to operate on lower pressure. So not only are they going to function properly, you will be more efficient in that way. But another reason I want to highlight is here on this property, we've actually, in the last couple of years, we've had three main line or pressurized line leaks because there was no pressure regulator. The manifold under this valve, there used to be three valves, but they only needed one. Um, that had a problem, had a leak that had to get fixed. And then also here in the front yard, we've actually had two leaks on the main line here where the, the tools are. So that got fixed. And this was not an issue of poor craftsmanship because it was done by the original builder. But it is about 25 years old and it's been under that constant high pressure and it's just finally starting to give out. So the pressure regulator is going to make what you have last longer. It is much needed in my opinion. And um, just as far as it doesn't really cost that much, most properties have an irrigation shutoff valve. We install it after the irrigation shutoff valve. And to start with, we charge $5.95 for a brass pressure regulator. It's a really good deal. Honestly, it probably takes a year or two for you to make that up just in water savings. Um, and a lot of times we do replace the shutoff valve with it. That adds some cost to it, but it's really not that expensive. And it helps keep you from having these constant issues once they start developing, once the system starts aging. Um, keeping the water pressure around 50 PSI is really ideal. There are some times where that's not a possibility, but in most cases, especially on track homes, you should be around 50, maybe 60 at the most. So do a pressure regulator. Don't think about it too much. Just do it.